What is common between your exam marks, shopping discounts, poll results, interest rates, and rainfall predictions? Yes, you guessed it right. It's percentage. Whether you have scored 90% marks in exams, enjoying 25% discount on your favorite clothes, want to calculate 7.5% interest rate on your home loans, or check the 80% chances of rainfall prediction. Percentage is everywhere. So today, let's crack the most important and useful topic in maths, percentage. First of all, this is the sign of percentage. Now, what is percentage or percent? Percent means per cent. Cent is century, means 100. So, per cent means per 100. Percentage is a way to express a number out of 100. So, 25% means 25 out of 100. 50% means 50 out of 100. Suppose a juice bottle is filled up to 25%. That means it's only a quarter full. So the percentage is just the way of showing a part of a whole. 100% battery means your phone is fully charged. 50% off means you will get the product at half the price. 0% means Nothing. Out of stock. Now, let's learn the relationship between percentage, fractions and decimals. Percentage, fraction and decimals are all the ways of showing the same thing, a part of a whole. For example, 50% means half, 1 by 2 or 0 0.5. 25% means one fourth, one by four or 0 0.25. 75% means three fourth, three upon four or 0 0.75. Now let's learn how to convert decimal into percentage. To convert decimal into percentage, multiply the decimal by 100. That means shift the decimal two places to the right. For example, 0 0.4. We will shift decimal two places to the right. So it will become 40. That means 0 0.4 is equal to 40%. Next, let's take 2.5. We will shift decimal two places to the right. It will become 250. That means 2.5 means 250%. Next, 0 0.125. Now, you know we will shift the decimal two places to the right. So, it will become 12.5. That means 0 0.125 is 12.5%. Now, let's convert percentage into decimal. To convert percentage into decimal, we will divide the percentage by 100. That means we will shift the decimal two places to the left. For example, 60%. We will count two places to the left and then we will mark the decimal. So, 60% will become 0 0.60 which is equal to 0 0.6. Next is 8.5%. Now, we have to shift the decimal two places to the left. So, it will become 0 0.085. Next is 10%. So, we will count two places to the left, then we will mark the decimal. So, it will become 0 0.10, which is equal to 0 0.1. 10% is equal to 0 0.1. Now, let's convert percentage into fraction and reduce it to the lowest term. To convert percentage into fraction, we will divide the percentage by 100. For example, 68 percent. So, 68 upon 100. Now, we will reduce it to the lowest term, 68 upon 100. 
we will divide numerator and denominator both by 4. So, 68 will become 17 because 17 fours are 68 and 100 will become 25. So, 68% is equal to 17 upon 25 in the lowest term. Next, we will take 55%. Now, 55 upon 100, we will divide numerator and denominator both by 5. So, 55 will become 11 and 100 will become 20. That means 55% is 11 upon 20. Next is 110%. 110 upon 100. Now, to reduce it to the lowest term, we will cancel 110 from both numerator and denominator. And the fraction will be 11 upon 10. Now, we cannot leave it in the improper fraction. So, we will convert it into the mixed fraction. So, it will become 1, 1 by 10. Next, we will convert fraction into percentage. To convert fraction into percentage, we will multiply the fraction by 100. First example is 2 upon 3 or 2 by 3. We will multiply it by 100. It will become 200 by 3. Now we will divide 200 by 3 and the answer will be 66.6%. That means 2 by 3 is equal to 66.6%. Next we will take 4 by 5. 4 by 5 multiply by 100. Now 5 ones are 5 and 5 twos are 10. 100 will become 20. Now we will multiply 4 and 20 which is equal to 80. That means 4 by 5 is equal to 80%. Next example is 17 by 20. Now 17 upon 20 multiply by 100. 21 is a 20, 25 is a 100. So 17 multiplied by 5 is equal to 85. That means 17 upon 20 is 85%. Next is 36 out of 40 or 36 upon 40. Multiply it by 100. Now 110 will be cancelled from numerator and denominator. Now we will reduce it to the lowest term. 4 1s are 4. 4 9s are 36. Now 9 multiplied by 10 is equal to 90. That means 36 upon 40 is equal to 90%. Now next we will learn to find the percentage of a given number. To find the percentage of a given number we use a formula which is percent divided by 100 multiplied by the number. For example, we have to find 20% of 150 rupees. We will apply the formula here 20 upon 100. 20 divided by 100 is 20 upon 100 and multiply by 150. Both the zeros will be cancelled from numerators and the denominator and then we will get 2 multiplied by 15 which is equal to 30. That means 20% of 150 rupees is equal to 30 rupees. Now next we will find 10% of 7500 milliliters. 10 divided by 100 is 10 upon 100 multiplied by 7500. Both the zeros will be cancelled from numerator and denominator. And what are we left with? 10 multiplied by 75 which is equal to 750. That means 10% of 7500 milliliter is 750 milliliters. Next example is 75% of 80 marks. Now, 75 upon 100 multiplied by 80. One zero will be cancelled from numerator and denominator both. Let's divide 75 and 10 by 5. 75 will become 15 and 10 will become 2. Now, 8 and 2 both will be divided by 2. 8 will become 4 and 2 will become 1. So, we are left with now 15 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 60. That means 
75 percent of 80 marks is 60 marks now let's find out 60 percent attendance in 30 days 60 upon 100 multiplied by 30 both the zeros will be cancelled and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 that means 60 percent of 30 is 18 18 days is our answer now let's take some word problems Word problems are the real life situations where we use percentage. First word problem is a t-shirt costs 1000 rupees. There is a 25% discount on it. What will be the final price? To find the final price, first of all, we will find 25% of 1000 rupees. So 25 upon 100 multiplied by 1000. Two zeros will be cancelled from both numerator and denominator and then we are left with 25 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 250 rupees. That means we are getting discount of 250 rupees. Now we will subtract 250 rupees from 1000 rupees which will be equal to 750 rupees. That means the final price is 750 rupees. Great deal, right? Let's take another word problem. Abhi got 80% in English, 75% in science, 68% in Hindi and 90% in maths. If each test was of 50 marks, find the marks in each subject, total marks and total percentage. So, first of all, marks in English. 80 upon 100 multiplied by 50. Both the zeros will be cancelled and 8 fives are 40. So in English, we got 40 marks. Now marks in science, 75 upon 100 multiplied by 50. We'll cancel 110, then 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, which is equal to 75 upon 2. When we convert it into decimal, it will be 37.5. Next marks in Hindi. 68 upon 100 multiplied by 50. Again, 110 will be cancelled. Now, we will divide 68 and 10 by 2. 68 will become 34 and 10 will become 5. Now, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5. Both the 5s will be cancelled. Our answer is 34. That means we got 34 marks in Hindi out of 50. Now let's find the marks in maths. 90 upon 100 multiplied by 50. Both the zeros will be cancelled and 9 fives are 45. That means marks in maths are 45 out of 50. Now let's find the total marks. 40 plus 37.5 plus 34 plus 45 which is equal to 156.5. Now to find the percentage we will divide the total marks we got out of maximum marks which is 200. That means we got 156.5 marks out of 200. 156.5 upon 200 multiplied by 100. Both the zeros will be cancelled and 156.5 will be divided by 2 which is equal to 78.25%. That means we got 78.25% marks. Now you will be able to solve the percentage problems like a pro. If this video was helpful then please like it, share it with your friends and Subscribe to my channel Easy Learning with Poonam Jain. Bye-bye.